Hello everyone and welcome back to Direwolf 20's Let's Play, featuring Industrial Craft, Build Craft, and Equivalent Exchange. This is episode 10. Uh, today I want to move out of my house. So I'm going to expand the house that I've built here outside a little bit. So I just plop down my builder as you saw in my last episode, throw some oil into the combustion engine, and drop down a redstone torch. So I'm going to let that guy run and head inside. Now I'm probably going to need to relocate all this good stuff uh, that I got in here into my house somewhere, somehow. And to do that, I'm probably going to build some more energy storage units. Uh, you can see these guys are actually both full. Um, so how am I going to move all this energy inside, you say? Uh, those energy crystals that you've seen recently are only going to hold 100,000. So I could build 12 energy crystals. Uh, that would take a long time to fill all up and, you know, be kind of a nuisance. So let's see what I can do about that. Okay, so what I decided I want to do is probably just build another MFE or two and run the cables from my current MFEs into my new house. Um, and just put a new MFE in the house over there. There's no sense destroying those because they're just storing energy. So, I mean, I can have them sitting outside of my new house and, uh, you know, just have a new MFE inside to, you know, stick my stuff in. So I think that's what I'm going to do. So I went ahead and made a couple energy crystals real quick, got some cables. Um, I do want to make a little bit more gold cable, I think. And if you remember, gold cable can be double insulated. So you stick it in there with some copper and you get insulated gold cable. I'm sorry, I stick it in there with some rubber. And then you get 2x insulated gold cable by sticking that in. So good amount of rubber used to do that. Now I've got plenty of gold cable. Now gold cable also has energy loss just like copper does. Um, copper can transmit a cable current of 32 energy units. Gold can, copper, can move 128 energy units. Um, and copper loses 1 EU every 5 lengths. Um, 2x insulated gold cable loses 1 EU every 2.5 blocks. Uh, so for 5 blocks we're going to lose 2 energy units. So that's going to not be that big a deal though. So let's go ahead and make our MFSU, or I'm sorry, our MFE. Pop that guy in here. There we go. That's going to go in our new house. Now let's see what do we got here. This guy's almost done building, it looks like. And he ran out of resources. Whoops. stone in there. So let's go into our house. Now how am I going to want to cable this up? Let me think for a minute on how I want to design this and I will be right back. Okay, here's what I decided I'm going to do. I just disconnected this second MFE that I built, which is currently sitting at full power, uh, from my system inside here. And I'm just going to plop an MFE inside my new house. Yes, this is as good a spot as any. Two bat boxes. So I need much more tin.
box. Now I need a low voltage transformer. I need a few pieces of copper. I've decided how I want to operate this setup. I want my machines to be running along these two walls that I've dug out. So I'm going to stick my MFE in the corner here. I'm going to need a new wrench soon, probably right now. And I'm going to run some gold cable down. I've been told that you can um, connect the boxes right next to each other. You don't need to run gold cable between them. I think it's just kind of easier to keep track of what's what <clears throat> if you do do that. But a good way to test it, I think, will be to just put a bat box right next to this guy. Like so. Okay, so now the input is touching the low voltage transformer. cable, like so, output side, not gold cable, okay, place my machines on top of these uh, cables here. So I'll be able to have five machines on this side, five machines on this side, and things should be good. So let's see how all that works. The next thing I want to do is run some gold cable. Now this isn't going to be totally optimal, but I'm just trying to move my energy. And if I lose a little bit in the process, I'll live. should drain directly into that MFE. I can save a little bit of efficiency doing it this way. I think this is shorter. So I am losing a little bit of energy. I 
again. Nothing I'm gonna worry too much about. Draining out of this guy, and straight into here. Now, why is this guy fluctuating like that? Because I've got my bat boxes hooked up. So, connecting directly did work. In fact, I want to do something a little different. Yeah, why leave this messy like this, right? I do need another wrench. Hang on a second. You guys all remember how to make the wrench, correct? So I'm, like I said, I wasn't sure if this worked or not, but it looks like it does. So why not? Let's do it correctly. Low voltage transformer. Now this guy is going to face whatever direction it looks like I'm standing in, I think. So this is going to be a tricky placement. I think if I place it like this. Output size like that. It looks good. And then I place my bat box. Like so. And that guy should be okay, he's not pulling up. sure why that guy wasn't filling, so I'm just going to go with the original plan that I had. That box is down here. So these guys should both be filling up now from the low voltage transformer. And I'll just run my copper cable back the way it was. That should be good. This guy should be almost empty, and he is. Gotta have your house looking nice, don't you? just kind of testing how these boxes work with each other. I grabbed that partially charged energy crystal I made a few episodes back, and I'm going to stick it in this MFE. And what I want to see happen is the power drain straight out of this MFE into this one, which it did. So pop this guy in here, he charges up, and then he drains straight into this guy. Awesome. So this is where I'm going to connect my power. the MFE that I left inside my house, my old house. Again, a little bit of energy loss, but nothing I'm going to worry too much about. So this guy is currently receiving power from my solar cells. Disconnect him. from the 
the system, and I will relocate his output side and drain. So now the power is running through this long cable, wasting a good amount, I'm sure. 121? That's not bad. Um, so, just do some quick math for you guys. This cable could carry 128. That's how much is being output from the thing, from the MFE. Um, and 121 is going in, so we're transferring 95% of the power. So we have a 5% loss. Not too bad. This guy is dumping itself directly into this MFE. Cool. As soon as this guy fills up, this guy will start filling up, and then I'm going to connect my um, solar farm, which I'm probably going to reorganize a little bit and make it a little bit neater. Okay, let's see how this is looking. This guy is full now, so this guy is going to start filling up. And it's draining all the power out of my old MFE. So that's cool. While that happens, I'm going to relocate some of my machines here some of this rubber. Gotta love the induction furnace. Alright, full inventory. Let me clean up my inventory a little bit. So much cleaner. to recharge my induction furnace, but I'm not worried about that. How's this MFE doing? Almost drained. So how about I put... You know what? If I'm moving into a new house, let's get serious about induction furnaces. I'm going to go build another one real fast. Ah, uh, but I can't until I charge up my other machines that I have here. So I'll put my macerators on the same line as my induction furnaces. So I'll be able to drop, you know, stuff in here and then into my induction furnace. Let's go ahead and put our extractor down in the corner here. We really only need one extractor as well as one compressor and one recycler. So these are kind of like my miscellaneous machines and these are the machines used for, uh, you know, cooking stuff and macerating. So that'll be neat. Let me go get ready to build another induction furnace. Okay, remember the recipe for the induction furnace? I'm going to lay down these guys and get a pair of mixed metal ingots. And the true test of my wiring, which I'm not too worried about. There we go. I also want to macerate some coal because I need some of those coal dusts. Let that guy cook for a minute. Back over here, I can see that the MFE is completely drained of power now. So I'm going to knock him off. I'll recollect my cables in a minute. So how do I want to wire this guy outside? Let me think about this for a minute. Okay, here's what I've decided upon. Get rid of this bat box here. Probably just wasted a little bit of but all right. I'm going to place down an MFE. I'm going to place down my copper cables and connect our two solar flowers like so. Now I should have one, two, three, four. And the same on the other side. One, two, three, four blocks going in. So I shouldn't have any energy loss. And if we measure on this side, we can see I'm getting, ah yeah, 32 because it's draining out of this guy. So. 32, and this bat box is probably draining as well. It's probably pretty full. So yes, 32 as well. So there's no energy loss. This guy filling up. Now I am going to have a little bit of energy loss between these two MFEs, but let's see, probably one or two tops. I'm going to say two. 126, yes. So I'm losing two energy. Not that big a deal. I'm 98% of the energy created by my machines moving over into this MFE. So my solar collectors are doing a great job. And this, like I said, a little bit of energy loss, but what can you expect when you have a, you know, two and a half 
blocks and loses one piece of energy. Unless I want to go crazy and make a bunch of MFEs and keep things less than two blocks apart, it's just not worthwhile. So I'm all right with a little bit of energy loss. So let me clean up my outside of my house here. Um, that's my final design for how these things are going to be cabled. I might at one point put a... No, I'm good. Yeah. Now I will probably be expanding this solar farm at some point. Um, where am I going to be able to expand it to? Well, I'm going to have to move it back here. So I'm probably going to bulldoze this house, the old house that I used to live in. And need another wrench. Wrenches, uh, yeah, they don't last too long, do they? So I'm going to clean up out here a little bit. You're not going to be missing much. I'm just going to be knocking down some walls and straightening up and resealing the walls that I knocked out here. I'll be back shortly. We'll make my uh, induction furnace real quick for you guys. And I need some copper. Standard machines, running with the carbon plates I made from that macerated coal dust and the advanced alloys from those little uh, blocks. Throw down one of my induction furnaces, my electric furnaces that I picked up in my room earlier. Another induction furnace. Gotta love that machine. And I'm gonna leave this electric furnace and bat box in here. Who knows? Maybe I'll use them at some point later. I did forget to rehook up is um, the bit that allows these guys to maintain their power, their heat percentage. Now I was told that I can just uh, put the levers on top of the boxes and they'll work. So let's see how that works. If I stick this guy here and power it on, no. so fast before the heating process is done, but what you gonna do? Oh wow, both my MFEs are full now. Nice. And this guy is filling up from solar power. You can see it's fluctuating a little bit because there's uh, machines running. What kind of energy is flowing through here right now, I wonder. Cool. Not too shabby. Well, there's something interesting for us to see. Somehow there's a skeleton just inside this wall. I don't know how we got there. You know what? This was a 2x2 two two plane. That's too funny. Uh, yeah. So there was just enough room for a monster to spawn in there, and there was no light because it was surrounded by blocks and stuff, so he's probably been hanging out in there for a while now. I almost want to keep him as a pet. I just might. He'll despawn at some point. That's funny. Alright. I'll be back. And I've decided it's time to build another extension onto my house. So, uh, this is kind of how my house looks like from the outside. And I'm going to build an extension right here. Just lay down some of this good stuff. See how awesome Buildcraft is? Space Toad really did a nice job. In fact, all these mod developers did an awesome job. That's right, I should put some stone in there.
that should be all the stone it needs to build this little room. And you can see my uh, new extension's almost done building here. that looks. Uh, sometimes what I do, see this little, like, I guess it's kind of like a plus sign or a cross in the middle here that uh, intersects between all the glass. At some point I will probably replace that with glowstone and uh, then my rooms will uh, be lit even at nighttime. Right now I'm just throwing some torches around. See how dark it is uh, right now. This house will get a little bit nicer as I go along, don't worry. I'm a function over form type of guy. Okay. So you can see my house is really starting to take shape here. Um, trying to decide where I want to put my chests for storage. Uh, I feel like if I put alchemical chests along this corner here, maybe, you know, five of them or so, uh, it would look a little cluttered, so I'm not entirely sure if I want to keep all the storage of my items in this room with my machines, or if I want to uh, dedicate a new room to storage. But if I put all my alchemical chests in here, it'll be kind of an empty room, so I'm thinking I might leave them in here, and if it looks cluttered, I can always move them later. Really starting to get low on diamond, and I don't want to convert all my gold into diamonds at the moment, so I'm probably going to have to mine soon. I'm going to build a couple more alchemical chests. What do I got? Three so far, so I'm going to build a couple more. I'll need a few iron. Okay, let's get to making... I'm going to make two more alchemical chests, I said, right? Yes. And I know there's a little bit more efficient way to make uh, these covalescence dusts. Don't yell at me. I know I'm not being superbly uh, efficient with them. I can make a couple more if I was going to spend a little bit more time, but I just want to quickly get these guys going. have them kind of in this corner here. I'm wondering how that looks. I'm wondering if this design works for me. Now these would obviously be alchemical chests. I'm just placing them here for appearance sake. Alright, I did decide I don't want my uh, storage room to be the same as my machine room. So I... Uh, going to dedicate this room to storage. I might use it for another purpose, because without chemical chests, you don't need that many chests. So, what I'm going to do now is just start relocating my junk. So, that's going to be probably a little bit boring to watch, so I will get back to you guys when I'm done move moving everything over. Okay, nicely organized my junk. So you can see I'm kind of done with this area here. old storage room. Thanks to Portal, I didn't have far to walk to get into my new storage room. Cobble dirt and sand. Building supplies. Valuable stuff. 
mod related items and miscellaneous junk. So I think now that I've got my house all situated, I'm probably going to build one or two more rooms here. I'm not completely done with this house, but a few more things to build. Um, I do have plans for the rest of the rooms here, and you guys will just have to wait and see where that goes. So I'm going to wrap up the mod, uh, the Let's Play here, and I will catch you guys next time at episode 11. Have a good day.